What's up guys? In this video, we're gonna be talking about this Creality Falcon 2 Pro laser. I'm not a laser guy, so we're gonna learn and figure this thing out together. Here we go. Creality sent me this laser to make a video on and show you guys what this thing can do. I am not familiar with lasers at all. I have messed around with this a little bit and it is uh, pretty user friendly, has a lot of cool features. We're gonna get into it and we're gonna cut out a little box. I plan on using this thing for making some like medallion things with my logo on it to route into drawer boxes or something like that. And then it'll be cool for making router templates and jigs and stuff like that. So this thing has a bunch of cool features. It's obviously got this nice cover to, uh, you know, protect your eyes from the laser and stuff like that and keep all the smoke inside. It's got a fan, a built-in fan back here with the exhaust. It sucks all that smoke out as it's cutting. And so when we cut with this, we'll bring it over to the window and I've just been venting it out the window for now. A couple of the things, things that it has, it's got a USB camera inside here, built in. So you can hook that up to your computer, to whatever program you're using for the laser. I'm using Lightburn and it will show you your workspace. So you can make sure you're getting your um, image or whatever you're trying to put if you're trying to put it in a certain location on a certain piece, you can make sure it's in the right spot. It's got spot over here for a little SD card. It's got your USB hookup to hook it up to your computer. It's got the power cord. We've got on and off button or switch here. A couple of safety features. It's got this uh, emergency stop button. So when this thing's running, you just, if something goes wrong, whatever, you push that and it just kills the machine. It's got a, uh, the key here with the on and off. So if you're out of the shop and you don't want kids getting into this thing and messing with it and turning it on, you can turn it off, take the key, and then this thing literally can't be turned on. Got a couple other controls here. On this side, we've got, it's got the fan switch here. It's got a light switch over here. There's a light bar in here that lights up the whole working area. And then it's got this air assist. This is a little pump which it pumps air into the laser. And so as it's cutting, it's just kind of blowing air and keeping your, your workpiece clear of debris and stuff like that. So the laser can make a nice clean cut. And then down here, this is pretty cool. It's got this drawer that pulls out and this is just so you can clean out whatever debris and stuff from, you know, obviously from this thing cutting and it makes it easy to clean that out. So a couple of things about this laser. So this thing right here, the actual laser itself is only 22 watts, which is pretty incredible. So this thing can cut up to 10 millimeter solid poplar in one pass. Like that's, that's pretty impressive for only 22 watts. I actually cut, I'll show you over here in a sec, but we actually cut a little sign just kind of testing the power on this thing and we cut through a three eighths piece of solid pine. And it literally was no problem for this thing. So really cool. The other thing I really like about this machine, especially for a beginner with lasers like me, is like the safety features. This whole thing that's covered and kind of keeps your eyes safe and all that, but you can still see in on all sides and see what it's cutting and all that. So that's, that's really cool. I really like that. And then the emergency stop buttons and stuff like that. I've already had to use those. I was running some test pieces. So I, I really like the safety features on this thing. So we did cut this out the other day, just kind of messing around, having fun with this thing, seeing what it could do. So this is three eighths solid pine. Obviously we cut Northeast Woodworks into it. 
And obviously I was trying to cut all the way through just to test the power of this thing. So obviously you're gonna lose the inside of some of those letters like the D and the O's and stuff like that. But pretty impressive what a 22 watt laser um, can cut through and those cuts are just clean. So like I said, I'm not a laser guy. I do not know a ton about this thing, but it has been pretty easy to kind of get it up and running and get it working. So today we are going to cut out a little box. There's tons of websites actually. You can go on and get free files and stuff like that. So I found a file and you're actually able to customize the size of the box and everything. So we're gonna cut that out and see how it comes out. And I'll show you kind of how easy it is. Hopefully I don't screw it up. We're gonna take it over by the window where we can vent it outside and we'll get this set up and we'll get this box cut out and I'll show you some of the settings that we're using. And yeah, we'll see how it works. We got this piece of three millimeter, just basswood plywood here. So this is what we're gonna be cutting out of. Um, so I'm just gonna set this thing inside here. And then I'm going to set the height of my laser. So your laser is gonna come with this little block here and it has the cutting thickness of your different uh, woods. So for less than six millimeter basswood, we're gonna set the laser to this height right here. So this thing adjusts super easy. So it's just got these two little screws right here and I can just drop it down onto my block down there, tighten them up and then boom, the height of the laser is set. So then, so I'm using I'm using Lightburn, which I'm getting familiar with. It's, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm learning. There is a bit of a learning curve if you're new to this whole thing, but not that much. Like uh, you're able to kind of get it going and start cutting stuff. So on the Lightburn or on the Creality, on their website, they have for the different lasers, they have all the cutting parameters and engraving settings for all their, for different materials. You can cut acrylic, you can cut wood, you can cut leather, you can cut all kinds of different materials. You can engrave stuff into um, like metal coffee cups, all kinds of stuff. So we're gonna be cutting this box template that I downloaded a file from a website into this basswood. So for three millimeter cut, we're gonna be at 100% power at 550 millimeters per minute. So I'm just gonna set that on here. Let me make sure my laser's on. All right, so right now on my Lightburn software, I'm gonna hit frame and that's just gonna, the laser's gonna do basically a dry run. It's just gonna show me where it's actually framed out on my workpiece. So we're good, I'm gonna close this up. I've got my hose vented outside here. So the fan kicks on and it will draw all the smoke right out. And then we'll just hit start. So this cut takes about four minutes. And then we should have a box that we're able to put together. So another thing that this could be really useful for is if you were making furniture or something and you wanted to make some like scale models, stuff like that, this would be really good to cut out little parts and make scale models. So the, the, the cut precision on this is really, really, really good. So uh, this thing is done. So now we can open this up. And you can see our pieces in there all cut and dropped down. So let's see how we do it. All right, let's see if we can go put this thing together. So here we go. We're gonna glue this little box together. 
Um, we'll see how it goes. We will see how it goes. Sick. And the bottom. Come on. Bam. And we got a box. And I'm officially a laser guy. Sick. So I'm actually going to flip it over so the bottom is pressed down. I'll tape it just to hold it tight. Okay. All right, there we go. We got a box. Sick. So, obviously I'm not gonna be making tons of little boxes like this. You could if you wanted to, but just to show you kinda what you could get up and running with this laser pretty quickly, especially if you're somebody like me who doesn't know anything about them. All right, I'm gonna do one more cut with this laser and show you guys just how nice it can engrave some lettering into a piece. So I did a test piece on some, just a scrap of plywood, but I'm going to cut this, it's just some lyrics from a song, into a piece of walnut, and then I will finish it and it'll go up in my office, like on my desk. So I've got the machine set up, we'll cut this thing and we'll show you what it looks like. All right, so see I got my lyrics in there, my lettering written out, I've got my piece of walnut. It's hard to see through the red, but it's in there. So real quick, I'm just gonna home this, and that brings it back home to this front corner. And then we'll frame it, make sure I've got my piece in the right spot. All right, now we are ready to cut. Let's hit start. And there it goes. So this cut is gonna take about 13 minutes. I oh, won't focus. About, about 13 minutes. We're getting there. Got about eight minutes left. But check it out. You can see that lettering is looking nice. thing cuts just really well really smooth here from the back side you can see it see the laser in there working making good progress here I'm just cutting away all right it's all done Let's see how we did here oh yeah that looks pretty sick pull our piece out let's check it out it looks nice so now what we will do is i already sanded this to 180 because i didn't want to have to sand this like crazy after i engraved this because i don't want to like get rid of the lettering so now what i'll do is hit it with some like 220 just to get rid of the fuzziness around the edge like the the black and it'll really clean this up and the letters will look really really crisp so let's go get this thing sanded So now you can really see, after sanding it, how just clean that lettering is. I mean, it is, it is just really clean, really, really nice. All right, there it is all done. Got some Rubio on it. This thing looks freaking cool, stoked. But I do plan on getting to know this thing more and getting more familiar with the software and making files and stuff like that because I definitely want to make 
like I said, some logo medallion things, and I want to be able to make router templates because this thing, like I said, can cut up to like a 10 millimeter solid poplar in one pass, which is pretty impressive. So as we get more familiar with it and do more projects with it, we will be sure to fill you guys in and make some videos. And when we do use it on a project, we will certainly put it in there. If you guys have questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comments below. Hope you liked the video. Peace.